My name is Joel Lababa, and I'm the Franchise King. There's something that's going to be going on this year in franchising, something that I predict will happen as this year starts moving along. Uh, I, I go through it in an article I just wrote, the top franchise trends and predictions for 2008, but I wanted to tell you a little about something that you may not anticipate as you go out and search for that perfect franchise. It's weird, but when the economy is really good, like it seems to be now, well, it is pretty good right now, uh, interest in owning a franchise actually decreases. I know, it's weird. Here's the reason. A good portion of the people out there that are looking for a franchise, you included, um, are either really, really sick of corporate America or have been downsized from corporate America and are looking for a big, big change. However, since the unemployment rate is really, really low right now, that means that there are going to be less people looking in 2018 to be in business for themselves. I know, isn't it? it's kind of weird. You would think that when the economy is really good, people have more money and they're, they're willing to maybe take more risk uh, and, and doing something like starting a franchise business. Well, the opposite is actually true because if, if people are, are currently working, they're employed and they're making good money, there's not a lot of career pain. There might not be a big reason for them to move on to something else like maybe owning a franchise business. So here's what's going to happen. Here's what I predict is going to happen this year. Since the unemployment rate is low and will continue to be low this year, that means that there are going to be less people in the pool of people looking for franchises. So franchise salespeople and franchise brokers, consultant coaches, same thing, um, are going to be in a bit of a bind. And if you're going to look for a franchise this year, you are going to feel it on the other end of the phone. What I'm trying to say is expect franchise brokers and consultants and even franchise salespeople to be more aggressive when they try to close a deal, when they try to sell you a franchise. They're going to have to be because there are less people for them to work with. Uh, does that make sense? So if you're looking for a franchise right now, you are going to be one of not that many people looking for a franchise, and and you're gonna you're really gonna feel it. Um, salespeople and brokers are probably gonna be more aggressive, but if they're smart, they'll be less aggressive and really really work with you, kind of uh, with a with kid gloves, and 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 be willing to be more patient and to go slow through the process of buying a franchise. Because a franchise, um, looking for a franchise, doing research, figuring out financing. You know, the entire process is going to take two to three months in most cases. Uh, that's not what a franchise consultant or a franchise salesperson really wants to hear, but that's that's really what it is. And in their heart, they know it. So uh, don't be rushed. I'm not saying that franchise brokers and consultants and salespeople are bad people. Um, this is how they make a living. Just know ahead of time that you may feel a little more heat from their side for you to make a decision uh, uh, faster rather than slower. That's only one of the things that I predict that's going to go on in 2018. There are many more, including all the franchise trends you need to be aware about, uh, you need to be aware of, so you can make a very smart decision this year if you end up buying a franchise. The link to the article is below, the top franchise trends and predictions for 2018. Please take your time to read it. There's a lot of information that you're going to want to know about. I'm the Franchise King, Joel Ababa. Thank you for watching, and always check out thefranchiseking.com.